Here we're going to show you a complete, semi-complete uh, production line for making wood pellets, or any kind of pellets for that matter. But we're gonna start off here with our furnace because this is what heats the dryer. So this furnace is set up to burn wood, you know, split logs or charcoal that produces the heat. What's going to feed the whole line here is a hammer mill. This is the 420 model hammer mill. Um, here you're going to see there's no motor attached. This is for a display. But this tube shows where it's connected up to the cyclone. So what it does is the hammer mill will break down the material, empty the material into the intake of the dryer. So the dryer now has the heat, as you saw the furnace, is getting sucked through the drying system. It's gonna run through all these chambers. These tubes here are gonna transport um, the material of the, the Let's go with sawdust for this matter. Uh, hammer milled products, so say sawdust or whatever it may be. Here's a fan, it shows that it's gonna suck the material through and as it does so, it's sucking the heat through as well. This is called the flash dryer. So it'll bring that moisture uh, down to the adequate amount, you know, be that around that 12 to 16% range. It too has a cyclone, which you can see would empty into this here uh, screw conveyor. The screw conveyor will then transport the material ready to be pelletized up to our pellet mill. Now, this particular pellet mill uh, is a, a roller rotator model. Um, Christian will remove the cover here. I'm going to take a look inside and you can see what the roller rotator looks like. But you can put any kind of pellet mill that you really want in place there. However, this is the one we have on the display. Um, the roller rotator, uh, this is the 400 model. The rollers spin around in a circle rather than the die. Ultimately, the same, the same premise you're putting forward. So, from there, the roller rotator is gonna make the pellets, is gonna dump them into what is called a bucket elevator. The bucket elevator will then transport the pellets and they're going to be at a high temperature at this point. Uh, the pellets come out of the pellet machine upwards of that high 150, 180 degree uh, temperature and they're gonna be dropped in here. This is the equivalent of what would be similar to a cooler. You can see those two holes right there on the bottom is where the, the pellets will come out of. This is a shaker, which will cool the, cool the pellets down and shake them out to uh, separate the sizes and get all the dust and smaller stuff out of them. So you can see the whole line here. This is the entire length of it. Now these lines can be, this is a, again, there's no bagging system and this is a pretty straightforward, um, small production line but it can be arranged in many different configurations. Um, this is all one straight linear uh, setup so you can see how they all look, but it gives you an idea of what, what you're working with here. So you have a dryer, a hammer mill, the pellet mill, a couple conveyors, and a shaker, which would be the cooler. So if you have any questions, shoot us an email at info at usapelletmill.com. Hope to hear from you.